الله يصطفي من الملائكة رسلا ومن الناس إن الله سميع بصير Allah tabarak wa ta'ala selects rusul from the angels and from mankind. Verily, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is all hearing, all seeing. In this verse of the Quran Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes to express certain things. The first being that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the true and mighty Rabb. He is the greatest and He will always remain the greatest. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect and everything besides Him is imperfect, refuting all the idols and those that claim to be God, etc. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had revealed this particular verse of the Quran when some of the mushrikeen had said and commented that أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ الذِّكْرُ مِنْ بَيْنِنَا how can it be that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who grew up in front of us, he is getting revelation. He was a young boy. We saw him growing up in front of our eyes. And today he is telling us what we must do and who we must worship, etc. It is said that the person who said this in particular was Walid ibn al mughira However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refutes this statement of theirs because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best who he is going to give prophethood to. Uh, who is who he is going to give prophethood to. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahu a'lamu haythu yaj'alu risalata. He is most knowledgeable of whomsoever he wishes to make a messenger. And in this verse of the Quran Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He is the one who chooses himself specifically who is going to be a messenger amongst the the angels that is the angels such as Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam Mikael alayhi salatu was salam and so forth and that they are going to be responsible for certain tasks it is mentioned that Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam was responsible for all the revelation to the anbiya alayhi salatu was salam and he was the means of revelation of the Quran from the Allah al-Mahfuz the preserved tablet from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he was also the messenger from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to deliver certain other messages to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which is known as wahi as well and in the same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala picks and chooses whom he wishes amongst mankind who are going to be the anbiya and the messengers from that of course he decided that he will choose the males and none none of no no female is a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no female has come as a nabi nor will there be any female to be a nabi all those who claim to be messengers and prophets males and females from the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam till the day of qiyamah they will be disgraced and doomed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses himself those kind of people and those angels who have certain qualities of perfection in them they have good character and they they are eligible and they have the ability to do the tasks that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants them to do therefore allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses those that he wishes from the anbiya alayhi salatu was salam as well such as muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam such as Sayyiduna Ibrahim, Musa, Isa alayhi salatu was salam and the various anbiya alayhi salatu was salam. He alone knows who he must choose for his message because as we mentioned he knows where and who to give his message to. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then further mentions Inna Allah sami'un Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most hearing. Most hearing of what? Of such comments made by people like Walid ibn al-Mughira and the polytheists, the hypocrites and the mushrikeen of Makkah al-Mukarramah who would say that this boy grew up in front of us and now he is telling us what to do etc. And Basir, he is all seeing of what his messengers are doing and how they are doing their work and he is all seeing of what the non-Muslims and mushrikeen are doing in terms of oppressing the anbiya alayhi salatu was salam the muslims those that follow his message etc so allah ta'ala in this verse has refuted the idols and has made it clear that the idols have no power the gods etc who certain people say that they are gods or they make others believe that their gods have no power at all allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone is the supreme and the mighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone has control 
over the matters and affairs of this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this understanding and save us from being trapped in the traps of those who claim prophethood after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa who is, was, and will always be and remain the final, the last, and the true prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.